generals want this war. They want this biblical prophecy to manifest itself in the future. It's profitable, bitch. It's profitable, baby. That's why we need these wars. Shalom, more praises to Yahweh, Bar Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. <coughs> and shalom to the hopeful elect out there pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Now, um, that clip I played was from um, AMTV and the presenter, um, Chris, I can't remember his full name, but basically he actually acknowledged that um, Russia and the World War Three is biblical prophecy, which it is, okay? And the main, well, the main point obviously is World War Three, but then it shows you these guys out here, man, in the um, in the you know alternative media setting, even a general media setting, are really watching the apostles. Everyone out there is watching the apostles, like Great Millstone, first and foremost, man, because that's where the truth's coming out, man. They are watching this word, and this word hasn't gone out. It's gone out to the ends of the. It's got. It has gone out to the ends of the earth, man. So I want to just go through some scriptures. Just to uh, build a, build upon the point. <clears throat> okay, this is um, Revelations 11 and 14. The second world is past and behold, the third world cometh quickly. And that's the situation that we're, is at hand right now. And that's the reason why this um, presenter right here is, is so upset. But he has actually acknowledged that it's biblical prophecy. And he actually said that it's profitable. And the reason why it's profitable because the prophecy, look, the Lord basically, you know, giveth the the, the kingdom into you know the, basically the earth into a whoever who, whosoever He pleases. So the fact that um, the so-called white man, who is Esau according to the Bible, has rulership over the earth presently, is down to the fact that the Lord handed that power over to him. That's a fact, all right. And guess what? The way he got it was by his blessing, which was the blessing of the sword. In accordance with Genesis 27. Okay. So he got his prof that That is how he's going to get his power. And that's how he's going to maintain his power. By raping and pillaging. Alright. So that's why he keeps on making profits. <clears throat> off the world. Alright. And you have the, the, the elite of the nation of Edom. Being um, Amalek. Okay. Which is the so called Jews. And they are actually the. They're the bankers, and they're the ones that are profiting from this, man. All wars are bankers' wars, all right? So they, they basically fund both sides and make money out of warfare. But that's going to be to his own detriment. We're, we're, in a, we're in a time of the ten toes, according to Daniel, all right? The ten toes, part um, clay mingled with, um, with iron, all right? So us currently, presently being in this time... <laughs> This is where, you know, part of the kingdom is going to be strong and part of it is going to be weak. And then guess what? They're actually warring against each other as well. And it tells you if Satan be divided get divided against Satan, how, how then shall he stand? And that's what's happening, man. And that's what's going to happen. Russia and America being the main two forces, along with the proxies, and then ultimately everyone's going to jump on the side of Russia and destroy America. And then the Lord's going to come in the midst of all that and subdue the whole earth under his feet, all right, and take his 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 glory um, upon the earth, all right. So, really, um, I finish with this scripture. You know, I, I said a lot. I, you know, quoted a lot of scriptures, so I just finish with this. This is Isaiah fifty five and eleven. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth; it shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So, Christopher Green, I believe his name is, he's saying they want biblical prophecies to be fulfilled. They can't help but make biblical um, prophecy be fulfilled. We're really, the, you know, we're waiting for two key prophecies being um, the RFID chip and um, World War Three. But basically, when the RFID chip drops, okay. That's when, you know, this is going into, you know, sixth gear, man. And we're going to be out of here in no time, all right? So, you know, 
the Lord's word, it hasn't gone out of void. It hasn't gone out of void before and it's still not going out of void, man. So um, with that, I pray you edify. Say shalom.